welcome. It's Jelly Cube here. I'm on the Sunshine Coast. I have got a canvas that I've painted on a few times and was not happy with it. So I've got this madcap idea that I'm going to try, which I haven't done it this way before. I've got a new canvas here and it's still wrapped in its wrapping and it's got some kind of I think I must have had a resin or something drip on it, like bubbles. And I thought I might try dipping this old grotty canvas because I don't really, uh, well, it's not very nice on this new canvas, but while it's covered to see um, what kind of effect I get. So um, I've never done it before and you know in for a penny in for a pound give it a go so this is going to be kind of a wild and whoppy one first of all I do want to just go over my canvas with um, with white just on the very edges maybe uh, I mean it's pretty grotty so I don't even know whether this is gonna really cover anything uh, it probably really should be um, thrown out now but if it's for a test to see if the piece works uh, this particular technique works then we'll give it a go hey I probably won't worry about the sides because I'm gonna see if the actual um, canvas comes out nice um, and then I can if it comes out super duper and I save this grotty canvas then I'll just paint the sides afterwards. So there's no, um, yeah, no rule against that. So we're going to see what this. These are uh, 50 by 55 canvases, so they're a decent size. They're not too small. Um, I'm going to move that out of the way for a second or two. Move it over there. Oh, and then I'm going to bring my other canvas. So I'm not intending on getting, um, I'm just intending on putting it on top of this plastic bubble. So it's like dipping on bubble wrap because I've got this bubbly effect already there. So I'm not going to worry about the outside of this particular bit. Now, for these dips, it's better if you've got your paint thick. That's too thin, so I'm not going to use that particular colour. I'm going to... That one is nice and thick. So I'm going to maybe do a bit of a different shape than I would normally do in when I do these kind of dips. And we'll see if it turns into some weird and wonderful creature. Maybe, maybe not. But you've got to be in it to win it. You've got to try, haven't you? So this is kind of um, a purpley, blue that I was mixing earlier for a previous piece so I'm going to do some kind of crazy leg outs here it's like um, is it Jackson Pollock when <laughs> oh I think I've got oh geez Louise I've got a rip in my canvas so it will, a bit of it will end up on the canvas but anyway not to worry, absolutely don't worry. Right here, I'm going to put some gold in here. This is actually 50% gold, 50% um, metallic copper. You probably say, what is she thinking of? But You've got to try, and if I don't succeed, at least then you guys know. No, I'm not going to try that one. Sort of always come when you do these kind of V's, when you do these dips, they seem to create a really wonderful pattern in there. So I might use some of my purple. Oh, yeah. oh I've got everything going on here. Me, um, sister has just left from she was with me for six weeks from the UK and just left last night so she isn't even she hasn't even should I say arrived back at her destination yet 
but it certainly was lovely lovely having my sister because she's so helpful she's not a guest that comes here and expects to be waited on she um, helps me I've got cleaning to do she cleans even if I haven't got cleaning to do she cleans <laughs> um, she helps cook she's one of those guests that you want to have because she's so helpful um, there was a couple of times you know that John and I weren't well and she was so good to have around um, but anyway she's gone back now so it's a bit sad I feel a bit sad right here I'm going to put some white in here this is a really weird and wacky um, composition And I might to just really make this pop is this really bright bright ready orange is it warm red warm red I'm really hoping well, this technique works really well if you're doing it on a um, bubble wrap dip you know it kind of gives a really nice textured look I guess is, is what so we're gonna see with the the one I just put that top coat on now we'll turn it over look how grotty it is so that's why I'm not worried if it doesn't succeed because look how grotty it is I wouldn't I would not sell the canvas no way it's literally been a test piece for me trying different things um, this last day or so and each thing I've not particularly liked you know you're always in search of doing something that looks a little bit different than you've done oh, I haven't put gloves on and get it all over myself but you know that's okay that's all part of the fun I guess the fun and therapy so you just sort of Making sure your paint spreads out. Radio. And you know what? I've got a gut feeling about this that because it is on a crabby canvas, it's going to turn out to be something really nice. So let's hope, 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 said the Pope, hope, hope, um, that it's nice maybe i should actually maybe i should turn it over that might be easier to take off i can't press that side <laughs> anyway let's see oh my oh my goodness oh look at that oh that is a beauty that is a beauty Wow, the colours together, aren't they super, super duper? See, now if I'd have done it on the other canvas as well, I could have had like a butterfly effect, couldn't I? That is so lovely, really lovely. Oh. What am I doing? I can't, I can't even do anything with that one because it's on the plastic wrap. I guess I could use it to dip. How have I got a, hey, I've got a, a little MDF. Yay, 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 yay. Got an MDF. So I might dip it on this. So as I don't waste any paint, I guess. Oh gosh. Gosh, 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 now I'm going to get myself in a fiddle here because I've got no um, place to put that sec, the deep one. Let's squidge it. This will make nice placemats on MDF and if they're resined, if it comes out nice. Oh, oh, it's got some missing bits. But I guess what you can do, again, is using the paint from this is 
and you could still take high definition photos of any part you like on the um, the bit that <laughs> is basically throw away and you can then use them for prints for sure for sure so just giving that balloon kiss in the area that's got no paint that's why the granddaughter arrived she's two and we have her for, for four days while her parents are at a wedding in Melbourne so I will be doing some finger painting I guess with a little penny something that you'll enjoy or even this dip technique is really good to do with kids look at that once that is resined that will be beautiful it's okay Benson and your granddaughter wow even those that's gorgeous that's gorgeous love it love it I better get oh, I better get a little mat um, put me board on so there you go I'm gonna bring you down to have a look at that it's colors beautiful okay super duper happy with this yes I did a few snaky little balloon kisses and look at them the colors I just put the balloon kisses down this end where I had the blank spot. It kind of, this style would look super doing as a Indian headdress, or, I guess. Indian crown of some description. The colours are you beaut, really vibrant, really pop your socks off. Super happy with this one. Do hope that you like it because I'm very happy with it. My board that I dipped on look I could um, absolutely resin that and become a trivet or a placemat it's gorgeous it's just the dips of that um, and of course this is the one that's got the plastic so I think I'm gonna let it dry and see if I can peel the skin off the plastic um, not that I use skins oh that's gorgeous see that is so nice as high definition photos using whichever one you want for prints uh yeah not that i use the skins i just have not got the time to do kind of jewelry and everything as well as what people do with the skins but that's quite gorgeous very very happy with that so my lovelies there you go i tried it super happy with the colors and i hope you guys like it so have a wonderful week and please um, be back tomorrow and take care. Bye for now.